Hello, my name is Pedro Gomez. I'm a violin and viola teacher. And today I'm going to teach you some little introduction about violin position. Our Statue of Liberty exercise basically is placing the thumb below the neck, fingers on the finger bow, and then we stretch our arm with this part of the instrument at our eyes level. We hold it for 10 seconds and then we return to our rest position. It's important that when you stretch the arm, you are not tensing yourself and that everything is nice and natural in your body. So for our feet position, we have to start with our feet together, being relaxed always, and then we open them, forming a letter B. After that, we go forward with one of them, and we try balancing our body and relaxing the knees, the ankles, and feeling the toes also completely stick to the ground. This matter of the balance is important because if one of these things fail, then we are going to be tense due to unbalance. When it comes to our playing position, we have to make sure that all the things we have learned before as the Statue of Liberty, the feet position, and the relationship between neck, uh, head and shoulders is present. So then your teacher will guide you during this process. You can take the instrument here uh, with the thumb right back the, the neck and then you do your Statue of Liberty and the teacher will guide you to play the instrument. So it's important that the, that the instrument is always uh, slightly inclined, that is not like this or like this. So then also we have to look that the button is right cover uh, to our neck. Also, it's very important that even if we have some gap between the shoulders and the instrument, we don't hold the instrument uh, with the shoulder or we press excessively the shin. Then we have a lot of options uh, for filling these spaces. We have shoulder rest, we have also uh, shoulder pads, sponge, pieces of clothes. So your teacher will guide you with the best option. The shin rest is also something important uh, in this regard. Once you feel comfortable and that you have this triangle shape between your head and shoulders, then also you have to explore about your shin position and the freedom of movement of your body. We have to keep a position, but that doesn't mean that we have to get tense inside. So the muscular attitude is important. There is no one right position or right posture. The best one is one where you are flexible and free for play. So uh, basically what you need to know is that your nose has to be pointed pointing to the two strings that are in the middle of your instrument and that you your head is always free and it's not like stuck just trying to get the instrument also that your arm is not tense but that is just hanging and working with the gravity 